Hello again, human beings from the planet Earth. Uh, just a moment ago, I was having a Facebook conversation with one of my Facebooker friends, and she asked me how I obtained a vaccination waiver for my kids. She had saw the video that I just put out about the Ohio baby dying and the whooping cough, and uh, it spurred the thought that maybe many of you are, are waking up to this and you don't know where to begin because they don't give you this information. That They don't even let you know that you can do this. People don't know. You haven't been told. So this really isn't your fault. This is what you do. Now, and you've got to move quickly because I hear talk, I don't have a link, I'm sorry, but I hear talk that some states are trying to do away with this basic human right of not being injected with poisons, toxins, etc., etc. But anyway, uh, you start the easiest way at your public school. Okay, you can start with your doctor uh, for your infants, refuse it. You can start with your doctor, but if you've got kids that are public schools, most public schools, from what I understand, are supposed to have these forms available that you sign and get notarized. When I tried that here in Kentucky, um, I've been waking up to the vaccine thing since uh, the H1N1 bullshit. Okay, and I took steps to make sure that my kids didn't get that vaccination when we were in Massachusetts. But I kind of slumbered in my awakeness, so I'm saying that when Fukushima blew up, that's when I really set the date to me waking up and getting really active. I've been kind of half-stepping for a couple of years. So anyway, start at your public schools. They're supposed to have the form available. I believe you fill it out, you get it notarized, and you give it in place of the shot records. Here in Kentucky... I had to go to the local health department and be prepared no matter if you go to your doctors the school the health department wherever you go to get an attitude they may even try to convince you that that right doesn't exist but it does um, and unless they can show you uh, right now I believe all 50 states this still applies uh, if anything has changed other than that I'm sorry for you hurry up and do this before you can't. Now, uh, they're going to counsel you and try to talk you out of this. I went prepared and with a list of the ingredients and asked them if they thought it was okay for their children to drink radiator fluid because that's in most of the vaccinations and they wouldn't answer me. And then I asked if it was okay for their children to eat mercury. Again, I got no answers. And then I asked him about something else that's horrible and disgusting and vile, but I forget what it is. But anyway, I was handed my waiver and ushered out. You get the waiver based on two things. A note from the doctor that says, medically, it will harm you. Good luck with that. Okay, Doctors love it. They're asleep. The ones that are awake are greedy and getting paid to shoot you up with the shit, so keep that in mind. Um, or, religious beliefs. Religious beliefs is undefined. You only have to make the simple statement that it violates your beliefs. There is no one religion. There is no 12 religions. Religion is whatever you say it is. So therefore, while it still is your choice to choose your religion, you don't have to give them any damn answers at all. You just say it violates your religions. And even if you don't think you're religious, okay, that's fine. But the world sees you existing as a religion. So there's a religion around you, whether you want to acknowledge it or not. It's the same thing as beliefs. Okay, religion, beliefs in this realm are equal to each other. So you don't have to call it religion if that makes you feel uncomfortable. Bah! Okay, if it violates your beliefs... Enough said. Be firm. Don't let them talk you into anything. The, the fear, um, their lack of knowledge, they'll act like they don't know. So inform them. Take the time to tell them that you're informed about this. Okay? And they cannot argue with you. It is your right. You get that waiver. Um, I also brought with me the vac prior vaccinations so that, that that was documented again so in the future if there's any issues related to those 
you know the information doesn't disappear because I don't no longer allow them to get them um, so hopefully that idea will set you on a path now each state may be a little different I don't uh, project to be an attorney I'm just telling you what I know what I've researched and what I've done myself I encourage you all to do it it's your right to know this they will not tell you this the school will probably try to tell you that they don't know about it or they don't have one and then if they do that you need to find out who your local health board health uh, whatever you, you know what to do I think I've given you enough as a starting point if you try and fail and need more advice feel free reach out to me you can email me Kevin at master of many things dot com uh, you can even call me my number is on the website uh, my Skype is on the website um, you know how to get a hold of me so or you can message me here on YouTube if you want whatever however you want to get a hold of me do that I'll be glad to help you specifically um, and even spend time researching your state because that, that will help someone else later on anyway much love uh, and thanks to Amy White Owl Ruiz for the idea she ha was bold enough to ask the question because she cares about her children and her question sparked the thought that brought this video which w at least one of you will benefit from and I hope every one of you benefits from it much love be safe and I'm not sure if you'll see me again tonight depends on if Obama news pisses me off or if some other vile disgusting thing comes across my email inbox and I decide to rant See you when that happens.